Mm -hmm. So I think people have wanted to know about our case and contact investigation data, and we've had some time to pull it together. And unfortunately, I've forgotten what ACT stands for, but it's our system for uh, case and uh, contact investigation. And we put that up in July. We were using a different system before. But this is just to say what we, the staff, have been doing in the COVID response since July. Out of two, we had initial contact with cases of 2,900 2,694, and then have conducted 9,566 monitor assessments of those cases. Among contacts, we've had 2,283 initial contacts, uh, and then 15,898 monitoring assessments of contacts. That's a lot of time with people. The average uh, has been about 3.5 close contacts per case. Since mid-August, we've determined that 8% of close contacts have converted to cases. And then for the cases reported in the last two weeks, because we thought people would be interested in what people were doing uh, in the last two weeks. First of all, this will not add up to 100% because they, uh, it's beyond because people can do more than one thing. 33% report a contact with a known case, 21% in their household, 12% in the community. 45% reported working during their incubation period. 17% reported going to a gathering, for example, a wedding, funeral, or party. 21% reported going to one or more restaurants. 15% reported traveling out of the uh, DMV area. And 7% reported going to a gym. Not surprising, we didn't include grocery stores because we know people are going, but typically people aren't spending, their goal isn't to sit in one place at a grocery store and talk with people. 